this is the video for Paint Studio Level 2 watercolor. Okay, so for this studio, you're going to need some different things. You're going to need water. You're going to need a set of watercolors and the paint from the paint department. Studio. You're going to need, definitely need a paper towel. And you're going to want to get uh, some different brushes to experiment with to find out which one works the best. Okay, I got a bunch of different ones. I even got a paint palette. All right, you can also use a sponge for this to try it out. Okay, um, so you're going to do this in your um, your sketchbook, but I am cutting small chunks of watercolor paper for you to experiment on so that you can uh, post the difference between one or the other. If you need to use a second page or the back for this to, to tape this on, that's fine, or you can write it on the back. But I want you to, to observe what the difference is between using this on a regular piece of paper and using it on uh, watercolor paper. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you are going to want to take your brush and open up your handy dandy watercolors. And first thing I'm going to show you guys is kind of how you can create a flat wash. Okay, and the first things you want to do, and this, this is where a palette can work really well, is to get a lot of paint in with water. You want to dip some of that water onto your palette, like what I'm doing here, and then get a lot of paint. I chose pink again. I'm not sure why, but what I did. Okay, so you want to get enough water and enough paint on there, okay? And then you want to experiment to see, okay, how do I create a wash? A wash is basically a flat, Color where you're not seeing the colors go everywhere and you want to really get a lot of color on your brush when you do it okay and so it should pretty much be the same now this is obviously a really light pink right if I'm gonna if I want to go darker I'm probably gonna want to do less water and more paint and it's kind of a dirty something else might have been mixed in with it okay so if I want to do a darker wash what happens how do I do that I have to load with less water okay and more paint okay so we know that that's how this brush works then maybe try another brush this is a, a horsetail more coarse brush let's see if we can do a gradient or what happens if I use this brush I'm dipping it in water and I am getting a bunch of blue in here I'm not sure if I can see this okay how does using this brush how is it different from using the other one what am I noticing about this brush that's different from the others well it doesn't really keep the water on for very long it can have a cool dry brushing effect um, where if it's if you don't use a lot of water and you just try to get some dry paint on it, like I added some pink to this, it looks very dry in the way, which could create a cool thing if that's what you're going for. But just keep in mind, it's, it doesn't add a lot of that. So um, more some things I might want to add is more water, lighter color. Less water, darker color. Okay. Um, and even, even amount of water. And color for a wash. Or a flat wash. Okay. And then I've noticed that the horsehair bristles uh, are more of a dry brush technique so dry brush technique with horsehair doesn't hold 
water long. Okay, so those are four things already, okay? Um, I'm sure you guys can come up with a lot more. Um, one of the cool things to do is gradients. As you know, if you're starting in with a lot of color and you're slowly adding more water, you're going to be able to get a gradient effect. Don't go away. Um, how can you blend colors into another? What about using another brush? Like I have this brush right here. How is this going to work? If I want to take a color, I think this is similar. This is more of a plastic. And that's interesting. That blended with two. But it does, it doesn't really absorb the water. It's like the other brush. So I'm noticing that about this color. When I go on to What's the difference between when I dry brush on my watercolor paper and when I dry brush here, I'm noticing that thinner paper buckles. Okay. So thinner paper will buckle. Okay. So these are just some of the things. Can I, can I use this? Obviously it's gotta still be wet, but if I use this, and I dip this into my palette. What can a palette knife do? Can a palette knife create anything interesting? Kind of, it definitely goes away really quick. Can I blend colors together with it? Okay, experiment and play with that. What happens if I layer colors or if I put too much water on one? Also, um, one versus the other. There is um, isopropyl alcohol. Uh, find out how that affects, how does, how does that affect? Um, the paint. How, how can you use that if you dip like a straw and use bits of it on your on your piece? You know, I, how does it work on this paper versus this paper? Um, salt is another thing to experiment with. Okay, so we'll get into more advanced techniques as we go. I just want you to experiment with watercolor and find out what the media can and can't do. Remember, you need ten. I've given you five already. So, good luck.